My name is Ashley Renee, and I am the owner of Sweet Utopian Milk Bar. Uh, just to give you a little bit of information about myself, uh, my favorite color is blue. Uh, I like uh, long sits on the beach. And uh, I get to inspire people to try something new every day. Long story short, I flavor almond milk for a living. And it is one of the coolest, most challenging journeys I've ever been on. And tonight, I want to talk to you guys about my journey and uh, the things that I've learned doing this. So, okay. When I decided I wanted to become an entrepreneur, I was like, ooh, I have the world at my fingertips. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, with whomever I want. And yes, it's true. I'm able to dictate my own schedule, but along with that comes a lot of responsibility. So much responsibility that it can become overwhelming. Like, think about it. You have to make the decision that you want to go into business, and then you have to put that business down on paper, and then you got to somehow make it profitable, and then you got to find your customers, and then all the time, like, you, you have to make sure that you don't disgrace your family. And I learned a lot. Like, I'm terrible with money. Exceedingly terrible with money. I did not budget. I priced things without even knowing the cost or what I wanted to have my profit margin at. I undervalued myself a lot. And uh, yeah, I'd get in such a sad place that I'd hide and go on my phone and distract myself with social media. I didn't want to deal with the hole that I had dug myself in. And sometimes we tend to do that. We tend to distract ourselves, but it all boils down to one thing. And that, my friends, is fear. The fear of failure. The fear of not being good enough. The fear of disgracing my family, who's made up of lawyers and doctors. So I understood that my self-worth dictated my net worth, and I had to do something. So the first thing I did was I found a team, and I hired them. And I didn't hire them to do all the things that I didn't feel like doing. I hired them because I wanted them to believe in what I was doing. And this motivated me to keep going. It was awesome. Okay, but, but then this comes. How many of us have to-do lists? Okay, so how many of those to-do lists were from 2015? <laughs> yeah, I learned how to plan versus <laughs> doing a to-do list. So the beginning of my day, it was all business. The middle, it was all personal, like, you know, appointments and bills. But then the last part of the day was my favorite. It was when I took time out for myself, when I took time to breathe and sit with what I was feeling and what I was dealing with and really recognize where I was. And where is the best place to do that? The beach. Oh, yeah. There are no taxes at the beach. There are no phones at the beach. There are no distractions at the beach. It is the one place where I am able to sit and enjoy myself. And I've come up with the coolest flavors doing this. And so I'd like to invite everyone to take out a little bit of time for themselves and breathe. Are we up for it? OK. After three. One, two, three. So we started off the evening with a poem, and I'd like to close out with one. Is that all right? OK. So it is 3 AM, and I cannot sleep again. Voices of defeat racing through my subconscious. Sadness so thick, I begin to forget what I look like. So I peel my body off the floor and drag myself to a mirror to see if there is anything left of me. But instead, I realize that I am running from the sun in broad daylight. I'm still waiting for a purpose, still waiting for my excuses to transform into valid explanations, still waiting to instantly drop a few pounds because my insecurities are too heavy. I'm still standing still. Silly little rabbit, grow up already! I realized that this insult was coming from my mirror. I'm sorry. In order for you to move, there must be passion bleeding from your heart. So realize instant anything ends just as it starts. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Um, who are you? This is you battling yourself to get up and do something. This is you hunting your insides to blame a new generation, to blame global communication deficiency on, taking pictures beside the dead and posting them on social media to remind the world that you're alive and well, but they don't sell motivation at Walmart. So silly little rabbit, grow up already. History and wisdom aren't scanned into the back of our heads for futuristic leisure, so get up and read something. Nerds finish first, so mend your frames with duct tape and get to it. Like Nike, just do it. Be bold enough to love yourself. The world is made of good and evil, so be the king and queen in you. Be everything that you adore all in one. Galaxy, black holes, stars, universe, and the sun. Be the silver spoon in the streets. Be the fine line where self-awareness and honesty meet. You see, I forgot about the God in me, that random, good, tight, right, sticky lover in me, the power that I share with every human being and every living and procreating species. So allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Blue. I am productivity in you. So silly little rabbit tricks are for the broken. And tonight, I hope you've digested everything I've spoken because it's easier said than done. So do what you love. <laughs>